I want to start with oil versus oil equities. The equities continue to underperform. Which ones will uh, which ones will move higher as oil prices trade around 70? Hey, good morning, Alex. So a, a lot of different equities. Uh, we, we actually think the energy midstream space, the energy infrastructure space will move higher. You know, as you mentioned, oil prices are up 15 percent this year. Uh, energy MLPs in particular are, are actually down for the year, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So that disconnect really represents an opportunity for investors to pick up some really high quality companies that operate essential assets that pay some pretty strong dividend yields. And so, you know, if you can get a dividend yield of five to six percent and your expected return for the market is, is 10 percent, um, that, that, that's a really good place to be. What's it going to take for investors to actually buy in on this? What do they need to see to have better conviction in this rally so they don't get burned like they did in 2016? Yeah, that, that is a good question. Uh, you know, Alice, I think the, the biggest thing is we need to see commitment from OPEC um, that they're not going to return production to the market, right? That's what everybody's waiting for. Um, and I think you're seeing signs of that happening every single day, right? We're seeing inventories fall both globally and, the, and in the U.S. You've heard OPEC talk about a potential long-term alliance with Russia where they would monitor and, and keep inventory levels lower for a longer period of time. That will reduce oil price volatility. So a reduction in oil price volatility is the key, we think, here at Tortoise to bringing investors back to the energy sector because there's a but, lot of great things happening in the energy sector right but, now. Rob, here's what I don't get, is that OPEC and its allies are saying that they're going to see a balanced market in the second quarter. And on the other hand, they're talking about extending the cuts through 2019. If we're balanced, we don't need the cuts. Yeah, it depends on when you when you factor in uh, when when you when you call it balanced, right? I mean, inventories have been elevated the last three or four years, so we're going to be back to uh, inventory levels that were consistent with the last three or four years. But if you go back in history uh, beyond that or before that, uh, inventory levels have been much lower historically. So I think what they're going to try to do is get back to a period where it's more of a normal inventory level. Hey, the, the bottom line is this, Alex: OPEC wants and needs higher oil prices. We've been yeah. saying that here at Tortoise from the beginning. Um, they they like the fact that they. They've cut production, in, in particular in Saudi Arabia, by half a million barrels a day. But you know what? Daily oil revenues are up. They're up over $100 million a day. So they're earning more than $100 million a day, even though they've cut production. Yeah. That's fantastic. I think uh, a lot of OPEC countries are experiencing the same things. They so, like that, and, and they want to keep that going. 